I lost a big chunk of my world. I kind of lost um, um, all of my bearings, you know. It, the, the world became not the place I was brought up to believe it was. All new at 11, we are hearing from a close friend of David Self. Self was brutally murdered in Hyde Park 33 years ago. The man who killed him, Robert Van Hook, died by lethal injection this morning. One of Self's friends at the time was Troy Lynch. He still lives in town and spoke with Nine on Your Side's Kristen Swilly about how he remembers Self today. I lost a big chunk of my world. I kind of lost him. Um, all of my bearings. It's been 33 years and February 18th, 1985 still feels like yesterday for Troy Lynch. As soon as I came in, my phone rang. I had messages on my answering machine. It was my mother. I assured her this is not, you know, this can't be David. Minutes later, he got the news and he spent the past three decades trying to heal. I would feel completely powerless over this, over this thing that, that really did, ch it changed my life. But Lynch finds news of Robert Van Hook's execution far from satisfying. I hear that doesn't bring you a lot of closure. Tell me why. I just don't see how it is that killing somebody for killing somebody, you're just compounding the pain and suffering. Lynch doesn't believe in the death penalty or life sentences. Redemption is impossible without hope of forgiveness. That's the tragedy of this situation, you know? Robert Van Hook very well may have killed the person that could have made, completely changed his life. Have you been able to forgive Robert Van Hook? There may be some aspect of me that hasn't forgiven him, but I try. Lynch says instead of focusing on Van Hook, he remembers his friend, killed before he had the chance to make his dreams come true. We really missed a um, person who, who could have transformed the world. Lynch says the two were supposed to have dinner the night after he died. He still regrets it's a chance he never got, of course. How, how has Lynch been able to kind of work through this all these years? Well, it's really been kind of incredible. He wrote this blog, a post about just what David meant to him, and he's really had so many people reach out and say, you know, I lost someone, maybe not in as uh, tragic of a way, Sure. But through that and through putting that out there, he's gotten people from the community that have interacted with him and it's really kind of helped him heal. Work through his best. feelings and yes, everything he's as best he can it. expect. Yeah. So I guess that's all we can hope for. Absolutely. Thanks,